the National Disaster Management Center has consequently classified the energy crisis and its impact as a disaster. Hello and welcome to my channel. Today, we'll be discussing the state of disaster in South Africa, specifically in relation to the country's national electricity provider. We'll cover what a state of disaster is, what it means for the people of South Africa, and the pros and cons of a state of disaster. What is a state of disaster? A state of disaster is a declaration made by a government in response to an event that poses a significant threat to the safety, health, or well-being of its citizens. This declaration grants the government additional powers and resources to respond to the event and manage its impact on society. In South Africa, a state of disaster can be declared by the President under the Disaster Management Act of 2002. ESCOM and the State of Disaster ESCOM is South Africa's national electricity provider, responsible for generating, transmitting, and distributing electricity to millions of South Africans. In recent years, ESCOM has been plagued by operational and financial challenges, resulting in load shedding, which is the scheduled interruption of electricity supply to different areas across the In country. 2019, the South African government unveiled a plan to restructure ESCOM, the country's national electricity provider. The restructuring plan is aimed at addressing ESCOM's operational and financial challenges, as well as creating a more sustainable and reliable energy supply for the country. If you would like to know about this plan, comment and I will create a video around the 2019-2023 And now February 2023, the South African government declared a state of disaster in relation to ESCOM's operational challenges. This declaration gave the government additional powers and resources to intervene and support ESCOM in addressing these challenges. What does the state of disaster mean for the people of South Africa? The state of disaster has several implications for the people of South Africa. First, it allows the government to take extraordinary measures to support ESCOM in maintaining a stable electricity supply. These measures include, but are not limited to, financial support, emergency procurement of electricity from independent power producers, and the deployment of the military to protect power infrastructure. Second, the state of disaster also enables the government to implement measures to mitigate the impact of load shedding on citizens, such as exempting certain critical services from load shedding and providing information on scheduled load shedding. However, the state of disaster also has its drawbacks. The government's intervention in ESCOM's operations can be seen as an infringement on the autonomy of the electricity provider. Additionally, the financial burden of supporting ESCOM falls on taxpayers, who may already be struggling with the high cost of electricity and other basic services. Pros It allows the government to take extraordinary measures to support ESCOM in maintaining a stable electricity supply. The state of disaster enables the government to implement measures to mitigate the impact of load shedding on citizens. The declaration of a state of disaster can help to create a sense of urgency and focus on resolving the crisis. Cons The financial burden of supporting ESCOM falls on taxpayers, who may already be struggling with the high cost of electricity and other basic services. The state of disaster can create a sense of panic and uncertainty among citizens, as it highlights the severity of the crisis. We hope you found this video informative and gained a better understanding of the state of disaster in South Africa and its impact on ESCOM and the people of the country. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe.